what motivates these people that run this this planet. Uh, even if Satan hadn't set them up and, and put them in positions of power, they would have to become Satanists just simply because, as so many people have, have pointed out, theology follows morality. In other words, what your morality is, what you do, you're going to look for a religion to justify it. And the, these people, the things they do to their fellow man, even though they don't, they consider the rest of us like ants, what they do is so heinous that they would have to become Satanists to justify it on that basis alone. Um, so they're, they're bringing into the world something that's the, they're bringing their practices in. Uh, there was a, a book written by Alice Bailey, and she, she's, it's externalization of the hierarchy. And in that book, she says the things that were done in secret in the occult world are now going to be externalized. And that's what we see with Halloween. These practices were, were secret in the occult, in the covens, and now all of this stuff is being externalized into mainstream America. Well, Fritz, I've also noticed that whenever I talk about this stuff, I mean, 16, 17 years ago when I was just waking up and getting on air, I didn't cover these issues. And it was listeners that kept documenting all this for me and saying, you ought to go to Bohemian Grove. So I successfully snuck in. I didn't think that would actually be happening there. Then they said, oh, they're just having fun. It's a joke. I was in the crowd of over 1,500 men watching the ritual. They were grinding their teeth. They were, they were in a religious fervor. I tried to talk. Mike Hansen did. Like, oh, that's neat. And they would growl at him with hisses. I mean, uh, I've been in a, you know, uh, evangelical church. I've gone to Baptist churches as a, as a young person. My parents went to both. I've been around people in religious exaltation. This was beyond anything I've ever seen. This is real. And then I get the Wiccans and folks sending me emails going, how dare you demonize our religion? They may believe because they're into white magic that it's all good, but you study all these religions, the Aztecs, the Druids, the Romans did it, the Greeks even did human sacrifice, the Babylonians, the, when the Israelites went wrong, they all did human sacrifice. I mean, this is something that humans societally manifest, and for them to act like, and the atheists to act like, we're making something up and on witch hunts here, uh, this is in anthropology, this is in archaeology, this is in sociology. Vampirism is at all-time highs. I mean, this is something that the human psyche seeks after. So whether it's spiritual or not, and we've had spiritual experiences, you and I, we know it's real, it doesn't matter. As you said, it's manifesting, and now it's coming through a crescendo. So how does this tie into mind control? What is the power structure in the world occult? In fact, let's get into that. You know, we hear about Illuminati. Uh, what's its manifestation today? How do the Satanists fit into that hierarchy? Uh, we're talking about the world system, and the world system has been going on for a long time. The system that we see uh, around us was created by these powerful uh, entities, the powerful families. And uh, pe people have sometimes said, well, f you know, like this one person, they sent me a book. Well, let's boycott the Illuminati uh, companies. They don't have a clue. The whole system was set up. It was created by these people. We're operating in their system. They are the ones that control the means by where money is created. Um, and so it's not... Uh, yeah, you can step outside of this system. I have tried to do that myself. But uh, but the idea of just, well, we're going to boycott this company or that, they don't realize how far-ranging this is. Um, so well, isn't so that what step, mind control, step, Fritz? Step. I mean, to interrupt, and I want you to continue. Isn't that the different layers of mind control, whereas you have actual admitted total CIA mind control slaves and things you and others have exposed? The general public, everybody to a certain extent, is under its influences where they've created almost a false reality or a, 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 a artificial enclosure or artificial habitat where, as you're saying, it is their system. And so I see people repeating it. I see myself repeating their nomenclature and systems unconsciously because we were raised up and literally grew from this wicked soil. And it's only through God that we're able to trans transcend it. 
Well said. <laughs> I, I, I um, am reluctant to, to speak because you do such a better job. No, that's it. baloney. I learned a lot from you, Fritz. Your knowledge is, is way more advanced in some areas than mine. That's why we all talk to each other. Continue with the hierarchy of the system. Well, they, back in the ancient mystery religions, they learned how to control people. Uh, there's there was several uh, pillars to the control. One is, is they learned hypnosis, uh, which they did in the like the Egyptian dream temple, dream temples. They le learned uh, drugs, which are uh, you know during the Middle Ages they called witchcraft potions, but it's just drugs or narcotics. They learned how to control people with drugs, and they learned how to control people with torture, and combined all of that. And in this century, they have used scientific methods to uh, systematically improve it. Um, the, what they're able to do is, is create multiple personality disorder where they create a front person that uh, they will set up as a pillar of society. And then this pillar of society person uh, who may be a philanthropist or whatever we want to call him, um, he will have or she will have hidden sides to him, hidden, hidden parts to their, them, other personalities if, if, in actuality, and those are going to be controlled by the dark side. So they create a good front. You know, it's like the scripture says, uh, Satan masquerades as an angel of light. So they set themselves up as the pillars of society, and it's really hard to uh, confront what they're doing because so much of it's done in secret. But uh, this whole thing's beyond one person. It's a system, and when you join the Illuminati, you join because you were born into certain uh, generational satanic families, and you join an agenda they uh it's like growing up in a mafia family in fact some of the mafia families are interconnected with the illuminati um and you're you're born into all these traditions and they use traditions uh to control you you know on this day this is halloween so this is what we're supposed to this is what's supposed to happen on halloween you know now we're supposed to sacrifice somebody because it's halloween you know and you don't want to break the circle you don't want to break tradition you know you want to honor the family you want to honor what's supposed to be done you know blah 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 and so the person's trapped in this ritual and and carries out this stuff uh, so, so it's a system. It's it's way beyond one person, and it it, it really does this service if we just yank one person attention. If we take attention and focus it on one person, because that one person is just you know like Obama. You know, there's a lot of um, people upset at Obama, but Obama is just one little cog in this whole machinery. You know, he's. He's the little puppet that the bigger boys are pulling the strings on. Sure, absolutely. Somebody like Obama is a puppet. To, I mean, to get to the core of my question, in your research and the actual power structure, we would say politically, Bilderberg is up at the very top, but it's only one of, of several different management groups that interlock. If you look at the leadership of Bilderberg, they're the leadership of Trilateral, CFR, Royal Institute of International Affairs. It's a secret room, kind of good old boy mafia commission system. That's the temporal power. But then you find these groups are all obsessed with other secret societies. So I'm saying within the hierarchy globally of the Illuminati that you write about in Bloodlines of the Illuminati, now 10 years later, any revisions or added points you'd like to make, uh, when we look at the Illuminati structure, uh, you know, I, I know it's Luciferians at the top. The Satanists fit in uh, beneath that. How do all these other occultic systems, the kingdom of the cults, fit into this this uh, black pyramid? From your research, from top to bottom, what's the hierarchy? You know, from the 13 families to the servant families around them to the 6,000 superclass, how does the Committee of 300 nest within that? Uh <clears throat> There's inter, it's interlocking at many different levels, and the the mind control which creates multiple personalities allows 
them to have one person function at many different levels, just like you yourself wear many hats. You know, you might be the uh, uncle to somebody and to somebody else, you're uh, their client and to somebody else, you're, you're blah, blah, blah. These, a, a single person in the Illuminati can function at many different levels. At the very top is, is what's called the hierarchy level. Um, but at the bottom, it's called the anarchy level. And the anarchy level is the whole sum of all of these different occultic groups, different types of covens, different kinds of witchcraft rites, different Masonic groups, blah, blah, blah. On and on, so many groups, you know, and, and you have, one has to go to my writings like Be Wise as Serpents to start to get a comprehensive picture of all of these different groups. But that's the anarchy level. And at the anarchy level, they all look like grassroots, uh, grassroots groups that are not connected. But within each of those grassroots groups are certain key people that are connected back to the hierarchy. So it's all interlocked. It's, and it has to be because this whole system, the uh, Satan is a control freak. The people underneath him, directly underneath him, are control freaks. And they, the more power they get, the more drunk with power they get, and the more control they have to get. Maybe somebody out there in, the, in your lister land has had a boss that was a control freak. You, you know how these people are. The more control they get, the more power they want. It, they're drunk with it, and that's the way things are. So uh, all these grassroots groups, like you were mentioning, these little Wiccans that get upset with you, you know, even though they they may or may not know it, their group's going to connect back in and be be uh, very specifically tied in. It's not going to be a loose cannon like, like uh, even some of the members may think. It, it just doesn't work that way. Um, we're talking about people who uh, um, want, want to be able to manipulate and control everything. Let me ask you a question, because growing up in Dallas, in Rockwall, there was unbelievable occultic activity, and repeatedly, as a child, you know, I'd have, I'd be 14, have a 16-year-old girlfriend or whatever, and I'd get taken out to some giant mansion in the countryside, and it would be serious occult-type stuff, but I would you know, never be part of it, um, and uh, it, it, it was always the, the entryway to it, but I never 